lesson is an idea I've been working with over the years and I had the wonderful fortune of having a gentleman stop in my shop and he shared with me over 800 photographs of butterflies that he took himself. He was living in South Texas and they were the most incredible photographs because they were in their natural habitat. Well, I just it just completely inspired me to get back into butterflies again. So what we're doing here is we're creating, pretty much creating the flowers and the whole background using collage. Now comes the fun part. We're going to take this Anru paper in very small pieces. Don't be getting into big pieces. They're very small. Just little pieces. Lay them in here. You see them getting darker. Now this is still pretty wet, so they're absorbing the color pretty well. This is lovely. I'm not going to put as many up above here, but I'm going to put a few because I don't want to just put papers on one side of my butterfly. That wouldn't be a very good idea. The important thing is not to get too big. So now I'm going to cross this over, form like a little path of these papers. And every now and then you'll find you have a straight edge. Whatever you do, don't put the straight edge out in the middle here. If you have a straight edge, line it up with the edge of your, in this case, the butterfly. We'll find another straight edge and line it up on the other side here. But the trick to this lesson, I'm going to repeat it one more time, keep these pieces very small. Whatever you do, don't be laying in a piece like this. This is way too big. Break it up into little pieces. Some can go off touching the edges of the paper. And these are going to form this really abstract kind of background. It's very cool. I love this. Now my paper's getting dry enough that I'm going to have to spray into these. Press them down with my fingers. A few little pieces here. Almost pieces that are spiking out of the flower. See that? It's kind of fun. And it's really fun to see this. As you add these papers, they become, they absorb the color and become darker. I'm sure you've noticed it already.